navigated it through everything yet, but it's like, lady, Gary Wallace. You're gonna start swimming on the doors. Uh, DMSI maybe a couple of times a week. I'm doing Arnica and Colloidal Silver. I'm doing. I'm going a witch doctor approach now. Um, and um, this stuff called C90. It's like Epsom salts on steroids. <clears throat> I'm drizzling uh, through a cannula about 16 ounces on it every two hours. Okay. And you can see how the how the feathers have sloughed off. Mm -hmm. And it's still, I mean, she doesn't favor it. She, um... I know. She's eating like a pig, so I'm wondering if there may be a little bit of infection somewhere, yeah, because I, I don't know that she's gained any weight, but I mean, she is really packing on the food. Okay. Well... The inflammation has gone down, but I feel like... Has it? See, I, 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 feel, I like, feel like that's sloughing off. Yeah, did you see that scar tissue there? Mm -hmm. I think it's cutting the blood supply into the food. That's what's retained too much fluid. Okay, so what can we do about that? Uh, we may have to go on the bright and clean and shoot your back all together. Okay. Will she be able to stay outside after that? Because I'm telling you, she does not like being in a crate. I had her in a giant yeah, airline this, kennel the first this, night. This past three now. Okay. Um, I, the first night she was in the giant airline kennel and when I went in in the morning to check on her she had hurled herself up against, oh yep, yeah, see, she'd hurled herself up against the um, front of the crate till it had, she had knocked it off and it was upside down. Mm -hmm. I think probably the best thing to Oh, I see some to... cheesy eggs yeah. in that, yeah. Which may make a lot of people faint. <laughs> It's okay, Peanut. Hold on. Oh, wow! Yeah. See, if we could, if we could get this done without having to knock her down. My new way. No, you're good. <laughs> I'm like, excuse me. <laughs> Photography in process. <laughs> now the um, the chamber that I have her in. Um, is screened, so I don't, I don't mm -hmm. think I'd worry about flies. Or flies. Anything. Well, that's going to close really quickly. So I don't think it will get contaminated, but okay. um, I think the best thing is going to be trying to work it out. Because she, if we knock her down and you know, end up making a pretty good size hole, she is not going to make a good indoor patient. I can tell you that right yeah. now. And you can see she's on the ground a lot, probably hurling herself up against the plexiglass because her, yeah, her you, see, you see that pad? Oh yeah. I just need to go probably and clean it. Yeah. Um. Well, ha eventually we're going to have to knock her down and um, mm -hmm. dremel her talons and the beak when the time comes because all of her talons are blown mm -hmm. out from uh, from being on the on the mm -hmm. thing. It's okay, friend. Mm. It's okay. Oh, don't bite me. <laughs> <laughs> no good deed goes unpunished. Um, I think the best thing is going to be... Oh, I see. That's all dead in there. Yeah, the best thing is going to be... Yeah. Go Can you point. get a close-up of that? <laughs> see that necrotic tissue under there? So, I was right about that. I think the best thing is going to be to go there and try to clean it all up. Okay. And, um, well, what can I, I don't and know. then maybe try to remove that is cut that is that is just Under. cutting the blood supply and try right. to re refresh it and try to get a good healing from it. Okay. Um, it's just a bad wound, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, this is all needs to come out. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Well, she's not suffering. I mean, she doesn't favor it. She uses it. She she rests on it. Mm -hmm. um, she holds food with it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so the blood supply is not completely compromised. No, it's still good. She's still yeah. moving the leg. It's just that uh, she's seeing a lot of fluids and it's affecting, mm -hmm. it's affecting the improvement of the leg. Yeah. Little girl. Okay. Well, that should make her feel better. Okay. Um, Excellent. Thank you. Let's continue with antibiotic. Okay. And um, the DMSO. DMSO. Thank you. <laughs> and, um, Dr. Martinez. <laughs> from Bloomington's Animal Hospital. Southeastern Mobile Vet Clinic. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll continue with antibiotic and then we're going to try to um, Look into the dates and maybe try to bring him. I think it's going to be bring her. I think it's going to be the best chances for that food. Um, it's hard to tell how it's going to do, but I don't think otherwise it's going to do better. Okay. Um, we just she, need to do she's, something. She's, 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 you know, she's coping with the problem, but um, if we want to try to release her at one point. Oh, um, absolutely, yeah. I think that for her, maybe the best thing will be to try to take care of that food. Yeah. Um, okay, well, okay, you can uh, cut that down. Push that Stop it!